real quick before the video starts this is going to be a different type of video i'm going to be doing a voiceover explaining my thought process during this fight so you guys can learn something and i can learn something to give you context to this fight there's two people in the office and there was me and my teammate my teammate died pushing in and now i'm stuck fighting these guys we're skipping all of that because the alarm was loud and annoying and honestly you can't hear our communication so we're playing it from here in the office uh back office yeah. Okay, when the back one, where he was, was in the back one behind the door. So at the time, I thought there was only one, so I thought the guy breaking glass was the guy that killed our teammate. And you can see this when I double back, realizing there's two. So you might be confused on why I didn't push this guy. It's because he has the advantage. He's in the room in a corner. I have to push through a doorway to get to him. He'll see me before I see him. And it's predictable. You can see this because he pre-fires it twice. Now I could have pushed, took my chances on a 50-50 of winning the fight, but I don't like taking unnecessary fights, especially if it puts me in a disadvantage. So because I made contact with the first guy, I'm holding the second guy to see if he would have pushed through off of that last contact. He didn't, so they're better than I thought. You can notice how I'm isolating my one-on-ones. Oh shit, buddy's down! Now, let me replay this so you guys can understand why I'm switching targets so much. The way I'm playing this is making contact with the first guy to see if the second guy is going to push up off of that contact and vice versa. What this does is make them unsure if they're able to push or not. And that's what I want. I want them hesitating. Oh shit, buddy's down! Yo, notice this right here. Nobody's in the hallway. This guy didn't move. He's still in the same spot where I first saw him. His teammate just got flatlined and he didn't move. So you can tell it worked. Oh, this fucking alarm. Right. Our guy's down! We have casualties! So the first nade was to see if he would move. And I unpin the second grenade from here so he can't hear it unpin. You're gonna see me running around the bathroom, running around, just making noise as if I'm pushing to see if he's gonna push out and swing. He doesn't, so I make a guess that it's safe to run up with the nade in my hand. Again, I don't recommend this. I was just trying something fancy to see if it'll work. Because I wanna get the nade in there to Vogue. If I get it in there, he's probably dead. But <laughs> I, I did it and I still fucked up the nade, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> But anyways, what I'm doing here is just running back and forth, opening the door, making noise to get him to push out, bait him, and then caught him. If you haven't liked the video already, what are you doing? I'm also going to be live on Twitch by the time this video drops, so I'll see you. Yes, you. I'll see you on Twitch. And it was two. I didn't think... I don't know. Yeah. I was about to say, Amy in, like... 20% of your scope, scope is... Sometimes, like, it's very convenient to have one. It is the same guy. Maybe, I don't know if it's the same team. I think it is, actually. It is. Oh, my God. My fucking head, man. It actually annoys me. It's like, gives me a fucking... The alarm, yeah. Headshot, bang! Michael Palutut. These nuts, bitch. Damn, Michael. The fuck did I just do? What? The fuck? What's that? <laughs> I don't know. The fuck? Why does it look like that?
Hold on. Pause the video. Clearly, this guy hasn't been watching my videos. Because if he was, he would know in my last video, I was literally explaining why you shouldn't peek this door. To prevent this tragedy from happening to you, go down, hit that sub button and the bell next to it so you don't miss a video. Do not be this guy. Level 38? What? Why is he playing in this room? This is never a good spot to hide. Well, this gun is sick so far. Which one? I put an RPK, but I put a big ass scope on it. <laughs> like the Schmidt Bender? Oh yeah. Schmidt and Bender. Check it. Bro, this shit big as fuck. I know. This <laughs> shit <laughs> funny. And it slaps around his fucking teeth up for two man. Look at that. Man. Is the recoil good? The recoil is like 51. You can get it lower, put a longer barrel on there, but. It's like, fuck it. No, this one looks quick. Just send it. Ah! Where is he running? Is that the same guy? Not sure. What was he doing, bro? Still on the black screen. We have casualties. Notice how I don't reload here because he's most likely to chase me. Oh, he's me with a wall, I think he's really 9 by 19. My guy's down! Didn't even hear it. Get him. Mm -hmm. so what was he using? I don't know yet. It's two. Alright, three. MP9. Fuck, this kid's using a stock P90 with the stock iron sights. What level were they? 20s. This guy's actually so annoying. I wish there was a way when you open the door it mentions which key it is. <laughs> 